everyone and welcome back to my Warhammer 40k guides. I am Brady and I am going to teach you basic math hammer in 10 minutes. Let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. The term math hammer is used to describe when someone is using math to their advantage in a game of Warhammer 40k to decide what is the most optimal targets to try and kill. And it's actually much more simple than most people realize. Math hammer is good especially in competitive play where you want to make sure you have enough shots to kill your target without wasting any. With that said, if you don't understand the basics of fractions, percentages, or math in general, then this video isn't going to help you much. You need to learn to walk before you can learn to run. So if you don't understand any of those things I just mentioned, I recommend you learn how to do basic fractions from another source first and then come back to this video. With that said, let's get right into it. How many sides are on a dice that you use in Warhammer 40k? Six sides. How many possible outcomes do I have when I roll that six-sided dice? I have six outcomes. Six sides on a dice, so that means six possible outcomes. This means the chances of you rolling any one number on that six-sided dice is a 1 in 6 or 16% chance. This is the most basic math hammer and the basis of everything else I'm going to teach you in this video. So now you know it's a 1 in 6 chance to roll any one number, what's the chances you will roll a 1 or a 2 on a six-sided dice? It's 2 out of 6 chance, because there are 6 possible outcomes and we want 2 of them. So that equals 2 out of 6. But in order to do proper math in fractions, we need to use the smallest fraction possible. So in this case, our 2 out of 6 becomes a 1 out of 3 or a 33% chance. Meaning, you have a 33% chance to roll a 1 or a 2 on a 6 sided dice. So now that you know it's a 2 out of 6 chance or 33% chance to roll a 1 or a 2, what are the chances we roll a 1, 2, or a 3 on our 6 sided dice? It would be 3 out of 6 chance, which equals out to 1 out of 2 or 50% chance when brought down to the smallest fraction. By this point you should have picked up on the pattern by now, but if not, let's continue with one more example to be safe before we move on. What are the chances you roll a 1, 2, 3, or a 4 on a 6 sided dice? That's 4 out of 6 outcomes, meaning it would be a 4 out of 6 chance, which when brought down equals 2 out of 3 or 66% chance. Now you should understand the basics of fractions and percentages of a single dice. So with that taken care of, let's move on to doing math hammer with multiple dice. Let's take 6 dice and roll them. And let's say we are looking for 3 pluses on these rolls, meaning we want 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s, which we've learned is a 4 out of 6 chance or 2 out of 3 chance. So knowing this, let's apply it to our 6 dice we are rolling. We have a 2 out of 3 chance to roll 3s, meaning for every 3 dice we roll, 2 of them should be 3 pluses. So that means on the 6 dice, 4 of them should statistically be 3 pluses. It's that easy. Math Hammer is literally all fractions and percentages, but honestly I just use the fractions because it's easier for me. So as a final exercise to make sure you guys understand this and how to apply it to 40k, let's give you a real life example of a scenario that could happen in a game of 40k. You have 5 space marines in rapid fire range of 10 orc boys. While in rapid fire range, the marines get 2 shots each for a total of 10 shots. The marines hit on 3s, which is a 2 out of 3 chance that we've already discovered earlier. So every 2 out of 3 dice rolled should statistically be 3 pluses. So with 10 dice, statistically you should have 7 that hit because 2 out of 3 or 66% of 10 is 6.6. .6. And with rounding, that equals 7. So with 10 bolter shots from the marines, 7 should hit. So let's take it a step farther now and see how many statistically would wound. So we have 7 strength 4 hits against toughness 4 orcs, meaning you would wound on 4s, which we discovered earlier is a 1 out of 2 or 50% chance, so this should be easy. What's 50% of 7? 3.5. And with rounding, that equals 4. Meaning statistically you would wound 4 boys with your 7 wound, er, seven wound rolls. Now let's take it a step farther to the last step and see how many boys make their saves. So the boys have 4 dice to roll and have a 6 plus save, meaning they have a 1 in 6 chance to make that save. And because they aren't rolling at least 6 dice, then statistically all of them should roll lower than 6. For every 6 saves an orc boy takes, only 1 will live statistically, because it's a 1 in 6 chance. Going back to the very basic math hammer I taught you in the beginning of the video. With that example, hopefully you guys get it. I have one more example for you guys though. You have 10 tactical marines with bolters that charge the rhino. Statistically, how many unsaved wounds should get through? Now pause the video and try to figure this out for yourself, and then come back and see if your answer is the same as mine when you unpause it. So 10 marines each with one attack, except the sarge who has two attacks, equals 11 attacks from the marines in close combat. 
The Marines hit on threes, which is a two out of three chance, so out of their 11 attacks, they should hit seven of them. Now the Marines need fives to wound the Rhino, so they roll their seven wound rolls, and statistically, they should wound twice, because it's a one in three chance to roll a five or a six, meaning one out of every three dice should be a five or a six. The Rhino then has a three plus save, meaning it will pass two thirds of every save. Meaning statistically, it should pass both of these saves, meaning your charge against the Rhino did nothing except hold it up in combat. There you have it, that's Math Hammer. The hardest part is knowing the basic math, but once you have the basic understanding of fractions, it's honestly really easy to figure out the statistics behind an attack you want to make, as long as you know all the stats of all the units involved. Remember though, statistics lie sometimes. And even though statistics say you should only pass half of your 4-up and vulnerable saves, if the dice gods say so, you can fail every one of them or pass every one of them, which I have seen happen numerous times. This is just luck and it's what makes 40k so interesting. Statistics still help a lot though because most of the time statistics work as intended, but every once in a while you will see something unstatistical like rolling 6 ones in a row. So anyways, that should be it for this video. I hope I was able to teach you guys how to properly do Math Hammer. If I forgot anything, or if you're confused by anything, let me know down in the comments and I will try to clear things up for you. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Happy Wargaming!